to profile code that's running on an EC2 instance server using Visual VM, you first are going to start a putty session, copy in the host name EC2 etc. as always, <clears throat> in SSH auth browse, hit the correct key, then go to tunnels for source port, put 10,000, select dynamic and then hit add and in forwarded ports you'll see D for dynamic 10,000 will be added then hit open and you will connect to your server you may get a warning just click yes once you are connected um, to run your code while profiling with visual VM compile as always and then when you're running the code, we're going to have a few extra arguments. You're going to put Java dash decom sun management remote port 3333. Decom sun management remote SSL is false. Decom sun management remote authenticate is false. And then the name of your app. So for me, it's going to be Java and I have a class path. So first thing is going to be dash class path, correct path. Then those arguments then the package name and the name of my code paste enter and we see it's running now to profile what's going on right now we're going to open visual vm go to tools options network Select manual proxy settings and make sure use the same proxy settings for all protocols is not selected. For SOX proxy, put localhost as one word, port 10,000, and hit OK. Then we're going to get the private IP address of our server. Over here, we see private IPs. Copy that. We're going to go file, add remote host. For the host name, we're going to put the IP address and hit OK. Now, once we do that, we're monitoring using JMX. So we're going to select the correct remote host, right click, add JMX connection. We already have copied in the IP address, the format for the connection is host name, in our case the private IP, colon the port number. We see from our arguments that we put in, the port was 3333. So that's what's going to go there. Hit OK. Wait for the connection. Now we're going to, now we see over here that it's quote unquote sees our application. We're going to right click, just hit open, wait for it to open, and we can now use the profiler and see what's going on.